Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another game of StarCraft 2. Tonight my opponent will be Coco Crisp, who, as we can see here, is Platinum in 1v1, 2v2, 3v3, and Diamond in 4v4, so hopefully he's going to put up a pretty good match for us tonight. Match will be on Zelnaga Cavern. Sorry, I'm really not as tired as I might seem. So, game's going to be going Malachi Cowtipper as the Red Zerg, and my drones just don't like to move. They actually like to sit there for about the first eight seconds of the game, totally delay the entire mining process. Versus Coco Crisp up here on the 132 o'clock position on Zelnaga Caverns. Um, one of my favorite maps for Zerg, and I know a lot of people playing Zerg tend not to favor this map just because there's a lot of wide open space, you know, places that you can get flanked out, but I feel that with good creep spread and also with decent overlord usage, like, I love to run overlords back through here, back along up through here, especially when playing against a Terran, because there's going to be drops. It's almost inevitable when playing a Terran that they're going to drop something on you that'll let you see it. You can maneuver your mutas, your queens, your hydras, whatever you want, and having the space, it just makes it really tough for whatever you're facing, whether it be a big MMM ball or a big gateway push or other ground units in general to really flank them. So circle them out here. Let me bring up the income tab real here. So, soaring ahead a little bit in the beginning. Pretty standard opening that he's going to go with. We've got the supply de depot up here. My drone is like, hey man, what's up? I'm just going to stab you a few times with my, uh, what am I using here? My claws. That's uh, actually kind of cool. I'm actually going to kill this SCV right here. Oh, wait. Nope, I'm going to run away. And then, boom! So he's down. I'm going to delay that barracks for a few seconds. Don't always get to do that, but it's always pretty cool when you do because that's one less drone. Now he's got three drones that he would have had on the mineral line. Off the mineral line gives me a slight advantage here in the beginning as far as my mineral collection goes. And I'm going to keep running this guy around. You know, I really, really like just to set these big movement paths with, you know, my early scout and just see what's going on. Like if I'm playing against a Terran, I'm going to try to keep this guy alive in here until I can see what he wants to do with this barracks. Is he going to go for another Rax? Is he going to go for a factory? You're going to see a reactor or a tech lab that can tell you a lot about what you have to do to prepare, and I'm going to be going for a very standard gas at 13, not putting anyone on it, and spawning pool. I do mean to put some drones on there. I'll get to it when my drones feel like it. So right here, I've still got him alive. He's still running around, and I said, I'm just going to keep this guy over here until I see right there that's the tech lab. Let's go back there. I saw it. I know I had time to click on it. I just played this game about four or five hours ago, so definitely remember what's going on there. And a tech lab on an early barracks like that, follow up with the second one, to me will usually mean Reaper harassment. So this worker is going to follow me all the way back right here, getting my gas, light gas, not going to be up on the speed right away, which, ironically enough, if I'm going to be going up against Reapers, which I definitely will be, check out the production tab right here, with nitro packs already, wow, he's going for that really fast. I'm going to need speed to catch these guys. Without that, I'm really going to be in a world of hurt. I definitely could be using to throw down some spines. But I think I remember, I'm pretty sure that I was thinking that my mindset was, I'll wait a little bit because I want to get a little bit more econ up because I'm trying to get a queen followed by a second queen with just a lot of minerals. There goes that second queen right there. I plan on doing something with that, but I remember thinking in the game I'm going to hold off on that spine for just a second and get it up hopefully before too many of these guys get into my base, but I do have my speed being researched, it's on its way, but it's still got quite a way to go, nitro pack's nearly done, and I'm just sitting on a lot of minerals, because I know having seen that, and that's what I'm expecting, I know I hadn't planned on fast expanding because I can cancel it, that's okay, but then that's just one worker, there we go, I do decide to throw up that expansion, I guess I'm just presuming that because my speed, I'm hoping to have it done soon, they'll be able to defend it, and if I can't, like if he does start bombarding it, I'm just going to cancel it, get my money back, and then try to defend the main base back here. So one thing that I am slipping on right now, my saturation definitely could be better at the 5 minute mark, I should have more workers here, I'm finally going for that second gas, working on the speed, and right now, he's going to be walling off with some supply base, supply depots over here, just building up the reapers, he's got conch shells, coming in on the way. I've traded four Zerglings and Overlord, going to Lair, getting the second hatchery, so just a lot of stuff going on in the stim packs. A lot of tech going on early game. They just caught my little Zergling that I sent up here. That confirms my Reapers, so I know what's going to be happening. And 
Looks like he's just content to mine off of this one base right now. Terran seemed to be able to build up a pretty menacing army just using one base, just using the mules, using what's given to them right off the bat. They can just do some really scary stuff with that, so... Uh, excuse me, there go the spine crawlers. I'm going to put one up back here, one over here. The idea is that if these reapers do come in, they shouldn't really be able to na nail any... You know, too horrible of harass, and here they come. I'm gonna jump up here, like, hey guys, what's up? We're going up high, and I do catch them. You know, right over here, I can see them on my mini map, so they're hopping on over, and I'm gonna run in from behind with my zerglings, and then they actually kind of get walled up in here. All the drones, you know, I don't, I maybe lost a drone in there. I don't think I lost too many units. You know, 375. 375 for me versus 100 for him. Interesting. That must... Oh, that's the ar current army. Sorry. Units lost 175. So, you know, that's maybe a few drones, a few zerglings. But for what it cost him, definitely not worth it. But that's just good scouting. Good unit placement. Speedlings getting them trapped in there. The spines could have been up a little earlier. Just would have went down all the better. So just poking up there, seeing what's going on. Just going to, you know, tag these supply depots. You know, these guys are going to leave their gang signs. You know, awesome Zerg gang. Going down here, I do have my expansion up and running. You know, I'm pretty happy that he didn't hit this expansion, but way behind in the harvester count. You know, I got my lair tech up, I got my spire all the way up, but I'm not going to be able to support the mutas once they pop anyway. And saturation looking really good, but I don't have anything on this gas. This gas has been up for probably a minute, two minutes now. I could have been mining off of it. That would have really helped for some early mutalist production as far as my army composition goes, because now he's just going to wall up. We're seeing a factory, another barracks come up, this one with a reactor, and he's just going to probably build up a pretty good-sized, you know, ball of marines, marauders, probably put some medevacs in there. You know, with the factory, we definitely could be looking at some Thor action. That'd be a great way to counter the mutiling build with a lot of marines, some marauders, some Thors in the mix. That can definitely do a lot of damage, because I will be going for mutiling. Predominantly has been working for me very well, although... Now that I've moved up to the Platinum League, that I have been finding I need to diversify a little bit. Just the caliber of the player is a little bit better up here. I'm seeing faster, you know, better executed attacks. It's definitely nice to have a higher level of play going on. Level 1 weapons going down. I try to get this almost right away with my Mutas. As realistically, it's only one Muta that you're denying yourself there. But if you look at armored units, you know, this guy, that third splash isn't going to do jack with the mutas, you know, even if they do it on basic infantry all of a sudden, that big benefit of having that splash damage, and I'm, at this point I was a little curious as to why, I'm sorry, finish what I was doing, it just nullifies a huge benefit that you get from the mutas, because without that splash, you're looking at something that does 9 damage out of the box, with 3 range and only a 1.52 weapon speed, and less used in mass without that bounce, they're just not that good, but you get a lot of them, they bounce everywhere, especially once they can start nullifying armor and going through that, it's awesome. So we have a starport going up here. We've got a reactor going, so that's definitely going to mean either a lot of Vikings or a lot of medevacs. Off of that, we have a tech lab on here. Check out the production going down. And he has not expanded yet, so going back to where I was going beforehand, I'm thinking it must have been when I poked up with those Zerglings that kind of scared me. For all he knows, there's a pack of Zerglings running around out here. And I do have my Overlord chilling over here. And I, as you can see, I am spreading my Overlords right alongside over here getting them out through here, got the Overlord speed now, so if he were to expand, I'd know about it, so that's why I'm content, as of right now, to spend the last minute or so basically macroing up, jumping from that 20, 19 Harvester attack that I, that I had when he attacked, up to 48 right now, without building too many more units. If you look at the army, he's still got me outspent when it comes to the army size, but it was mutiling build. Look how much gas I've had to drop into this just for you know, getting the mutalisks that I have out on the field right now. Versus what he's had to spend on gas, getting, you know, this cute little ball of marines, marauders, and now there's some medevacs out on the field, and that makes these guys a lot more deadly, you know, mutas.